not preach hellfire and brimstone to make you any warmer than what it is. Uh, the uh, Old Testament reading uh, today talks about uh, uh, the people in the wilderness. And uh, what did they start doing? They started complaining, right? They complained that uh, you brought us out into the wilderness and now we have nothing to eat. We'd be better off if we were back in Egypt where we had enough food. And that's when uh, God created the miracle and he sent manna down from heaven. He sent bread down from heaven and the people had more than enough to eat. In the gospel reading uh, this morning, uh, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. And uh, do not work for bread that perishes, but work for the bread that is eternal. And Jesus is the bread that is eternal. What are our favorite complaints? Tomorrow at the coffee, it will be the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, right? <laughs> and politics, right? We love to talk. You know, uh, when there's a change in government, uh, good luck, because we're gonna still have the same issues and problems, and then what? You're gonna complain about the new government. That's, that's probably what we'll probably do. But that's one of our pastimes, is to complain about the situation that we find ourselves in. I think that every Canadian should go into a, a citizenship uh, ceremony. It's, uh, it's quite moving. And uh, we who can find so many things in Canada to complain about, and then you see these hundred people who are weeping and sobbing and hugging each other, so grateful that they are here and not in the turmoil of their old country and they can't understand why Canadians continue to complain about their situation. It seems to be part of human nature to see what we don't have rather than to see what it is we do have. And I think that's what Jesus is talking about this morning. Law of Attraction is something I stumbled across about 15 years ago. Uh, the Secret was the book. It's still uh, out. You can get it at chapters. There were a couple of sequence of the books. And uh, the, the idea is basically you create your own reality. And if your reality isn't that good, it's probably because you're welcoming a negative attitude and negative energy into your life. When I first read these things, I thought, that's, that's preposterous. It can't be true. Things just happen. But as I have tried to practice more and more every day, the positive things that they talk about, and to see the positive things in people and push away the negative things, it is true. We create our own reality. And if that's true, then we might as well create the best reality that we possibly can. Do we wake up every morning believing that God is going to bless you more than he has ever before today? And tomorrow when you wake up, believe that he's going to bless you even more than he did the day before. The lowest time in my life was my year of internship, Danville, Illinois. And I was in a deep depression. Uh, they didn't use the term depression in those days, but that's what it was. And when I woke up one morning and believed that today is going to be worse than yesterday, and yesterday was really bad, I knew I was in a dark, dark place. And that's what we do. We do that. We complain about what's happened. How many of us complained about the heat last week, right? I was one of them. And I, I worry and I complain about global warming. But you cannot set that thought pattern every day and every moment into negativity or it will bring negativity into your life. The more you believe that God is blessing you, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. They are new every morning. 
Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. I believe that God is blessing. He's blessing all of us every day, showering blessings. Just like the man that came down from heaven, the blessings are coming down upon us. The only thing that is holding those blessings up is our own negativity, our lack of belief, our belief in a negative world rather than a positive world, a belief in a punishing negative God rather than a positive loving God. And those blessings are just waiting to crash in upon us and with all our strength, we're pushing away. We're pushing away because that's part of our human nature. Let your hands down. Believe. Believe that God is a loving God. He is a merciful God. And his wish is to shower you with blessings every day. And when you wake up tomorrow, believe that God is going to bless me in a special way today more than he did yesterday. And when you wake up the next day, it'll be more than the day before. Bread of life. God is the bread of life in our lives. Get out of the way. Amen.
extend their hands to one another, the steadfast love.